Imagine painting your house and in the process, turning every wall into a mini power plant. No bulky panels, no complicated wiring, just a fresh coat of paint and boom, clean energy right on your walls. It might sound like science fiction, but it's not. Scientists and engineers around the world are developing what's known as solar paint, a new kind of material that could transform how we capture and use solar energy. But how does it work? Is it as simple as rolling on some paint? And what's standing in the way of turning this futuristic idea into something you can buy at your local hardware store? Today, we're diving into the electrifying world of solar paint, how it works, where it came from, and what it could mean for the future of clean energy right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with a bit of context. Traditional solar panels are remarkable, but they do have some limitations. They're large, rigid, and often require special mounting systems. Not every roof or building can support them. Plus, the installation process can be expensive and time-consuming. For many people, especially those in older homes or urban environments, installing panels is just not practical. That's where solar paint comes in. It promises to do what solar panels can, but with more flexibility, fewer limitations, and a lot more style. So what exactly is solar paint? Solar paint is a term used to describe several experimental technologies that can absorb sunlight and convert it into electricity, just like traditional solar panels, but in liquid form. These paints are made with special materials like perovskites, quantum dots, or titanium dioxide that act as photovoltaics. That means when sunlight hits them, they generate an electric charge. The idea is that you could apply solar paint to almost any surface, the walls of your house, the roof, maybe even your fence or the side of a truck. Once connected to a power system, that painted surface could start generating usable electricity. It's an exciting idea, but there's more to the story. Let's talk about how it works. In traditional solar panels, you have layers of silicon and conductive materials that create an electric field. When sunlight hits the panel, it knocks electrons loose from the atoms in the silicon. These electrons then flow through the circuit generating electricity. Solar paint aims to do something similar, but with nanomaterial suspended in a liquid form. When you apply the paint and let it dry, it forms a thin, flexible layer capable of absorbing sunlight. One promising example comes from researchers working with perovskite solar cells. Perovskite is a mineral-like material that's much cheaper and easier to produce than silicon. It's lightweight, flexible and can be processed in liquid form, making it perfect for paints and sprays. There are a few different types of solar paints being explored right now, and each works in a slightly different way. Perovskite-based solar paint offers high efficiency and can be applied to flexible surfaces, but it still has stability and durability issues to solve. Quantum dot solar paint uses tiny particles that absorb specific wavelengths of light. These paints are lightweight and versatile, but currently less efficient than other types. Hydrogen generating solar paint, one of the more experimental types. This paint absorbs moisture from the air and splits water molecules into hydrogen, which can then be stored as fuel. Each of these approaches is still in development but they all point toward a future where clean energy could be painted onto almost any surface. If solar paint becomes commercially viable, it could offer some serious benefits. First off, flexibility. You wouldn't need flat rooftops or open fields to harvest solar energy. You could apply it to irregular surfaces, walls, and even curved structures. Then there's the aesthetic appeal. 
Some people don't like the look of traditional panels. With solar paint, your home or building can maintain its original appearance while still generating energy. It's also potentially cheaper. Manufacturing paint is less expensive than producing and installing glass panels. Plus, since paint is lightweight, there's no need for heavy mounting systems or structural reinforcements. Finally, there's the scalability. Imagine how much solar energy we could harvest if every painted surface, homes, warehouses, vehicles, even billboards, contributed to the power grid. Of course, solar paint isn't quite ready to replace panels just yet. There are still some big hurdles to overcome. One major issue is efficiency. While some solar paints have reached efficiency levels of 10-13%, that's still lower than most silicon-based panels, which often exceed 20%. Then there's durability. Paint is exposed to the elements, rain, heat, cold, and UV radiation. Solar paint has to survive for years while continuing to perform well. Many current versions degrade over time and lose their effectiveness. Stability and safety are also concerns. Some early versions of solar paint contain lead or other toxic materials, which raises environmental red flags. Researchers are actively working on non-toxic alternatives, but that's still a work in progress. Finally, there's the issue of energy storage and conversion. Even if your painted wall generates electricity, you still need a system to capture and use that energy, like batteries or grid connections. These systems add complexity and cost. As of now, solar paint is still in the experimental stage. Several research teams across Australia, the US, Europe, and Asia are developing prototypes and testing performance in real-world conditions. Some companies are even experimenting with spray-on solar coatings, which could make application even easier and more consistent. We're not quite at the point where you can go to a hardware store and buy solar paint in a can, but that day might not be too far off. As material science improves and renewable energy becomes a global priority, solar paint could emerge as a practical, scalable solution. Imagine a future where every new building comes with solar paint by default. Cars and buses generate their electricity from the sun. Schools, factories, and stadiums power themselves through their walls and roofs. Even your backyard shed or doghouse contributes to your home's energy supply. It's a powerful vision, and one that's increasingly possible with continued research, investment, and innovation. Just like solar panels seemed out of reach decades ago, solar paint might be today's dream, but tomorrow's reality. So, can your walls generate power? Not quite yet, but soon they might. Solar paint is a fascinating blend of chemistry, engineering, and clean energy innovation. It challenges the way we think about electricity by making power generation a part of the very surfaces around us. It's not just about paint, it's about reimagining how our homes, buildings, and cities interact with the sun. And as the technology continues to evolve, don't be surprised if, one day, your next home improvement project also cuts your electric bill. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.